how's it going? It's the 3rd of January, first camp of the year. I was hoping to get up in the hills, but it's forecast 40, 50 mile an hour up there. So we're camping much lower down today. Forecast is for rain all night, so I'm gonna get a tarp up. So I've got somewhere to sit under, out of the elements. This is my old three by three DD tarp. I've not had this out of the bag for donkey's years. Hope I can remember how you set it up. <laughs> so I've already got a bowline knot and created a loop on the end. Let's wrap it around the tree, pull the rest of it through. Trucker's hitch. So I've got a couple of prussic knots that slide along the ridge line, and then when you tighten them up and put some tension on, they lock. Well, I've done loop through the loop and then just locked it off with a stick. Things like knots, it's one of them things if you don't use them for a while, you forget how to do them. Cocked up a couple of times. Hey, right. bit of shelter. There is, however, a bit of a dip there, so I'm gonna lower one corner and then when the rain comes, the water will run off easily. So after a bit of faffing, we've got there. Any water should just run down there. Gonna clear as many of these twigs as I can. We don't want any of them puncher in the bottom of the tent. Got the 3F UL gear tent today, the Tiger 2 or whatever it's called. Plenty of room in this. Not used this tent since the wind flattened it on my honeymoon. Poles are a little bit bent. Don't know if you can see it. Probably not. I don't think I'll take it up on on the high parts again. Don't trust it. I always get this bit wrong. I think the pole goes over the top of the mall. Just seems a bit, a bit taut for that, but. Quick check underneath.
home for the night. Leave that door open. Plenty of ventilation. Rain's not getting in. And if the rain comes as predicted, and get out of it underneath the tarp. So when it gets dark, I only have a couple of little lights. This one is um, the lighter torch, I think it's called. Tiny little thing. And then this is just one of those LED things. Different levels. If it turns on, better turn on because I charged it, it has done. And then there's a diffuser on it just to soften the light a little bit. So that's without the light. And that's only on 15% brightness. It's not bad for something that fits in your pocket. Forgot my little pump today. So I'll have to use the bag that comes with it. Just shove it over the top of the valve. Shove the air in. Another forecast making a liar out of me again. No sign of this rain yet. Wind's picking up a bit though. Someone's asked about these before. They're just um, practice golf balls. You get them from any little sports shop or Amazon. A couple of pounds for, for four. Cut a hole in, a bit of bungee around it. It stops your feet sinking into the ground. Better. I've got chicken and vegetables for my supper. Let me get the kettle on first though. Oh, there goes my stove.
Not need to put a thicker coat on yet. I've still just got the shell on and the light fleece. Watch says it's 10 degrees, so it's quite mild. This is one of my Christmas presents from Joe. <laughs> the ribbed version. <laughs> it's so you don't get your hands burnt apparently, so it's called the uh, X Mug Cool It, I think. Not that I can recall burning my hands with the orange one, but this just gives you that little bit more protection. Would you Adam and Eve it? It works. Little fins stop you burning your pinkies. Cheers Joe. Let's get some dinner on. I'm gonna swap this for the Trangia. Get a little bit more control with that. Although you can use the lid as a simmering just by you know opening and closing the gap. But I like the Trangia. Especially when I'm using the frying pan. Right, we have got some bargain reduced asparagus, chicken breasts, peppers, and some mushrooms. We'll let it bloom. The simmer works better if you, you know, let it get up to temperature first. There we go. Bit of olive oil, extra virgin. Go watch the Mickey Flanagan gag. <laughs> Some chicken in. Oh, there's no sizzle there. Let's take that simmering off for a minute. And we're getting somewhere. Bit of steak seasoning. It's all I've got. It's all flavour. Slow it down a bit now, the pan's heated up. Starting to smell awesome already. Put a tad more oil in because I'm going to chuck a few mushrooms around the, the outside.
This smells amazing. Chicken's not far off done. I'm gonna let it rest and get some veg on the go. Another Christmas present. This is the UCO mess kit, the six piece version. <laughs> Another one from Joe, thank you darling. It comes with a spoon <laughs> with a knife at the other end, fork there. And then you can take these little rubber things off if you want to. You've got a not leak proof but leak resistant um, double plate there or bowl and then there's a, a cup. I like folding cups. This one's got a handle. Let's have a look how this chicken is doing. Let me give that another few minutes. Right, I'm going to let that chicken rest. Put the lid on so it doesn't go cold. More veg in the pan. Mushrooms, they can be a starter. <laughs> they are amazing. Mm. That seasoning's awesome. <laughs> The mouth's watering. There we go. Look at that. Happy days. And I'm just gonna drop the veg into there. All the juices, olive oil, <laughs> get in. Hunk of chicken. Do you reckon to that? <laughs> winner, winner. That was top notch. Finally. We're getting one or two drops of rain. Not sure it's enough to warrant the tarp, but it's still early yet, so we might get some decent use out of it. See if we can see any eyes staring at us. Those guy lines are bright, aren't they? I've had to like double them up a little bit. So the wind was lifting the tarp up. So I've done an angled down one. So that's just holding it. Done the same on that one there. It's much more solid now. New sleeping bag in there as well. The Rab Neutrino 600. We'll have a closer look at that when we get in the tent. So the rain's coming a little bit heavier. Got a bit of a problem though. The wind's picked up a bit and it's coming towards me. So the rain is coming in the tarp a little bit. So I think I'm gonna lower that end down a bit to see if it gives me a little bit more protection. I 
it's a little bit lower. I can still sit down under there, but I've just got to bend down a little bit to get in. That's better, I've still got decent cover, although not as much headroom. But I don't need to be standing up. And it's easy just to lift it up in the morning if I need to, if the rain stopped anyway. This is the new bag. Natrino 600, wide version, uh, hydrophobic down, Pertex shield, so it's going to be moisture resistant, so good for conditions over here in the UK. I'll give you a better look in the daylight tomorrow um, and let you know how it went on the first night. If you can guarantee that there's going to be hardly any wind, this tent is awesome. <laughs> the amount of room that you get, acres of headroom, there's loads of room inside the tent as well. I'm going to close the fly sheet just in case my tarp goes and uh, walkabouts in the middle of the night if the wind picks up. The wind's picking up. It's not low down here but tops of the trees are taking a battering. I had a good look before I pitched the tent you know, to make sure there were no widow makers but uh, there one or two really light branches. <laughs> Nothing that's going to do any damage. The tent's not moving. <laughs> it's moving a little bit now. Can hear the tarp flapping as well. We'll be alright. Morning. I don't want to get out of the bag. Lovely and warm in here last night. It was more windy than raining last night. We're gonna have five more minutes, then we'll check out, <laughs> see if my tarp's still there. Still got a tarp. Bit flappy, but not complaining. Gorgeous morning. Widowmakers. <laughs> Come on, let's raise the roof. So because the ground's really soft, double peg in it, so one peg in there and then just support that peg with another. Used that a few times up in the hills as well. There's one pot on. It's the important one today.
They're almost done. Tarp's done a pretty good job. For what little bit of rain we did get, the tent is actually bone dry this morning. The neutrino, love it. It's a very roomy sleeping bag, very warm. It's, um, the reason I stop using sleeping bags normally is that they're quite restrictive and they don't give me room to move around, but yeah, that one's got acres of space inside. You can still cinch it up around you. Um, I really like it. Well, as you know, I am a Rab fanboy, but they make really good gear. And the Neutrino is no exception. So one thing I've learned from this one is I need to practice my tarp setups. Not done it for a while. And it wasn't perfect. I've got cordage all over the place, look. Normally I have the ridge line down the middle and it's with a hammock, but it is what it is. I will learn from this one. Right, I'm going to switch this off in a minute. I'm going to have a little bit of me time. Um, Sometimes when you bring the camera everywhere, you forget that um, <laughs> you want to enjoy the moment yourself. And it's a gorgeous morning. You can't beat a bit of quality me time with your sausage. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Sausage!